Hey guys, I'm back with another video, and this time it is, um, another big build, except this is a big, um, random build and a big mob build, or big animal build, whatever. A random and an animal put together, and they're actually supposed to go together, which is really nice, and, um, let's just say these both. I worked not too hard on, but they may look really cool, at least to me. And yeah, let's go. Anyways, guys, here is the dragon bug. And let's just, um, he has a green, um, face right there. He is not from any game. I just created him, and he's in his sleep mode. Now, to put him in out of sleep mode, just fold out his wings and then on um, these little joints here, put up three times. One, two, three, like that. And then, you know, um, just, he can just fly without a care in the world. Um, he also got a blaster right there, which is connected to a Lego die, or dice, connected to... Um, another, um, that piece connected under here, good enough, so it will look really good, like that. And he can also pick up his opponents, like, let's say, this line guy, oh my god, I broke him, don't worry guys. We can still fit. We can still save him. We can still save him. It's not too late. Here we go. <laughs> and we can just flip him upside down. And he will be stuck. Yay! But we cannot put this guy under. I'm safe! I'm safe! Never mind. <laughs> Anyways, guys. And... If you're wondering why is it so evil, sometimes it's not so evil. Sometimes it defeats evil because it's being controlled. In sleep mode, it is asleep. Un well, it it has to be asleep until something eventually wakes it up. And it is this controller. Um, it has a chain on top which sends a signal. Why am I explaining this? Anyways, guys. Um. This is the front side. It is supposed to have um, holes in the front. Um, and yeah. Under here, um, people control it with their feet. And that is the, um, the screen. And it pops up when it, the dragonfly is awakened. And, or the dragon bug is awakened. Um, it is on a little joint. I'm going to show you the little thing. It is like this, and it is connected over there. And it's not all the way in because there is another piece in there. I'm gonna show you that, which holds up another thing. So wait. So you're wondering, oh my God, how is that floating? That's because it's a little joint that keeps that from coming um, in. Now, let's just explain how this works if it was in real life. So, this sends a signal to the white or the tan piece that sends a signal up to the gray to the black, which sends a signal to the um, chain and then sends a signal to that little gray piece there, which sends a signal into that um, fire and grass type element. And since this is fire and grass, if you don't know the fire part, um, it shoot fire balls from there. Um, wait, I gotta fix it. And it can also use its wings like this and charge up fire energy power. Yeah, and then it will send a signal to wake it up, and you can control it. Now over here, um, see, um, so let's see how it connects. So there's a hole back here, which the this green piece or dark green or you see it as black piece there um is 
out a little because th there's a stud behind there. And the stud connects up to this piece, which is the same exact piece. The same exact piece. See? Same pieces. Um, but facing the opposite direction. Um, the white top one has to um, hold this gray and stud piece. The stud piece goes up to this green piece. And the green piece is in Lego Ninjago. I don't know which set, but I think it's a snake set where Zane is off there. But anyways, um, that connects there, so it's like gravity is nothing to them. Anyways, yeah, that's about it for this review. That was pretty good. Um, charge up and destroy us. No, charge up and destroy. Anyways, guys, um, you clearly saw the hand there. Oh my god, I suck. Anyways, guys, that's about it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a comment and like down below. Also, subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!